Hi guys, it's Sammy here. Now the campus is fully open, I wanted to share with you guys a quick tour of the LSE campus and also share some of my favorite spots that I like to go to. So, come along! When you first get to LSE, you will see LSE's motto everywhere, to know the causes of things. This is Houghton Street, where you will see old building on your left and the central building, also known as CBG, on your right. Now, Old Building is a home to the famous Shaw Library, the place where our own undergraduate vlogger Ellie has shared in her video as one of her favorite spots to study. Well, I wanted to introduce you to the little hidden place right next to the Shaw Library that I like to go to. I mean, this place looks amazing, right? Um, so right here, if you go through this door, there is a hidden, but not so hidden um, among music lovers, the Shaw Library Music Room. Ta-da! The practice room was locked the whole year, but it recently opened up, and for those who need to practice piano or practice for musical ensemble, this is the place to go. With big windows that get you plenty of sunlight, upright piano is right here. I really missed playing the piano during the lockdown, so being able to practice again has been one of my greatest joys over the summer. And also, the terrace on the fourth floor of the old building is just a great place to study outside, getting fresh air. Okay, so the next place that I'd like to show you is the new academic building. And I usually come here when I have to do a video conferencing on campus. Now here you see wide open space on the ground floor and you can also find some little cozy seats on the first and the second floor. The perfect place for where you can talk without feeling like you are bothering someone. So now, welcome to Lincoln's and Fields. This has been my newly added favorite place on campus, especially as the summer has arrived. You hear the birds chirping. This lovely green space is where most of the in-person meetups and gatherings have been taking place during the summer term. You work in the library for hours and when you need a break, you just come out here, get fresh air and let your eyes see enough green. I mean, this place is just a few steps away from the new academic building. And when you hit your writer's block, writing your dissertation or simply wants to hang out with your friends, this is where you want to go to. And our media communications department also has a lovely co-working space. It is on the seventh floor of the Pankhurst House and Fawcett House building. When you enter the department, here you see the offices of the professors. This is our lovely department common room. And here you see the Silverstone room. Now this is the large spacious room where a group of students could study together. And since this space is only open for media and communication students, it is relatively quiet and it is a nice change of scenery um, if you've been just studying in the library or other popular study spots on campus. Last but not least, I feel like I'm giving away all my secret spots. <laughs> Another favorite spot that I like to go to is 32 Lincolns and Fields. Now, library and center building could get quite crowded during crunch time, so um, I like to come out here. I had a seminar in this building um, during the Michaelmas term and um, since then I found my secret spot. I love buildings that get much natural light and here in 32 Lincolns and Fields, even though this is the basement area, you get a lot of sunlight. Once you go through the entrance, you go down the stairs either by taking the elevator or just taking the stairs and you will get this natural sunlight laden quiet um, study space where not many people come and if you get lucky sometimes in front of cbg plaza this is the day that i was able to get um, banana nutella right which was the perfect snack of the day okay i hope you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video bye